Hello everyone, and this is the first video of a series of videos documenting the Unreal Mod Loader, its uses, how to use it, how to make mods out of it, and how to add mod support for games that you want to add mod support for. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Russell J, and I am the creator of the Unreal Mod Loader. And uh, I didn't really have documentation out when version 1 came out, and that is uh, something that I was planning to do, but never got around to it. But hopefully I can make up for it with releasing this stuff right before version 2. Uh, version 2, of for those of you who don't know or haven't stayed up to date, basically everything is done automatically now. So, you no longer need to, in most games, define the G names, the functions, and everything. A few settings and you're ready to go. So, without further ado, let's get into this intro video. It will be very short, and it's just going to talk about the basics of the mod loader, how it works, what it supports, and what we'll be covering in this uh, video series. So, one of the most commonly asked questions is, what is the Unreal Mod Loader? You know, what does it do? Well, the Unreal Mod Loader, which is also known as UML, is a tool used to load Blueprint and STK-based C++ mods for Unreal Engine 4 games. Uh, basically, it makes people's lives easier usually if you're modding an unreal game and you want to do a blueprint mod or something like that you know more logic mod based which is what this is you would have to overwrite a pre-existing blueprint some people do that with widgets some people do that with actors but overwriting causes a couple issues first being you can only really have one mod if you're overwriting because when you overwrite if someone else wants to make a mod, they're going to be overwriting the same thing. You're not going to be able to have both be compatible with each other. And the mod loader gets rid of the need to overwrite entirely so that mods can better work together, and it's all overall a cleaner and more stable environment. So, how blueprint mods work in the Unreal Mod Loader. So, to start off, for those of you who don't know, the Unreal Mod Loader is a .dll file that, when injected into a UE4 game, hooks important functions and information-type variables which will allow me to basically force spawn your mod actor into a game. Now, for the record, when I say a DLL file, there is an EXE that automatically injects into the game, so you don't need a DLL injector and all this other stuff that will make life uh, more hectic. It's very simple. But back on track, basically, the mod actor gets spawned. Everyone will have a mod actor, and this is your entry point, pretty much. And once you have that entry point, it is the same as basically overrating. You have a point from which to branch out and make your own stuff from. So, that's basically what this does. It spawns for blueprint mods, of course, uh, is what I'm referring to, but it'll basically spawn your mod actor, and from there, you can, let's say, create a widget like I do in the one photo down there. So yeah, that's what it basically does, and that's it's an entry point. That is as simple as I can put it for this video. Now, how uh, SDK-based C++ mods work. So the Unreal Mod Loader uh, has built-in support for very basic SDK-based C++ mods, and it is built upon the Unreal Mod Loader subsystem, which basically means that you can interact and call the same functions and features and do the same stuff that you can do in the mod loader, and it's exposed into this example mod project, which is also packaged with the mod loader. Uh, do note, when I say SDK-based C++ mods, there's a reason I'm saying SDK-based. These are not the same as UE4 C++ actors or mods or anything. For those of you who know, in, C in UE4, you can create C++ actors and stuff like that. This is not what I'm talking about. This mod loader doesn't support that because it's a, 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 whole, a whole thing to get those working. And usually you can't even get those working unless the game is built modularly or with a PDB or a bunch of other stuff. So SDK-based C++ mods are basically C++ mods built upon an SDK or a class dump or something. You have to have experience in C++ to basically do this, which is why I'm not going to make a bunch of videos on this C++ mod aspect of things, but I will make a few that talk about how to wrap your blueprint functions if you want to do some C++ stuff like writing to a file and reading and stuff you generally can't do in blueprint. But basically, uh, I do have an example project, and it can get, it gives you the ability to do quite a bit. You have a lot of free-range uh, stuff that you can do, and it's a nice example that you can build upon if you so wish. Now, what this video series will cover. So basically, uh, the Unreal Mod Loader uh, basically reads the game's info and stuff from a dot profile that you have to make, or that I make and that I publish with it. 
And basically, I'm going to show you how to make it for most games, because with version 2, that you basically don't really have to do all that defining and stuff you did with version 1. For those of you who don't know, you would have to define gname, gobject, gworld, all the function definitions. It has been completely streamlined. You no longer have to do engine def uh, defining. Of course, I speak for most UE4 games. Games in which break the auto-detection system, you will have to do more complicated dot .profile files, uh, which I may cover, but that requires a lot of reversing knowledge, and honestly, if you just reach out to me on Discord, I can get you a working dot .profile file for any complicated game, pretty much. So, if you do end up having a problem where uh, any dot .profile that you're making isn't working, feel free to hit me up on that, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with either a fix or just it done already. Uh, it will also cover how to use the Unreal Mod Loader if you're just not a modder, but let's say a normal user. How to make a simple widget mod in Blueprint. How to debug your mods with printing to the console log, etc. How to easily package your mod into a .pack file. And how to create a super simple C++ mod along with wrapping Blueprint functions in C++. Which is basically what I was referring to when I said like reading and writing files. Um, you know, IO type stuff. Uh, like you would with normal C++. So, that is the general view of what this series will basically cover. Uh, you can, of course, skip to any one of these sectors. This video is more for people who want to understand the whole of the mod loader from top to bottom. So, yeah, that is basically it for the intro video, and we'll get on to the next one.